Do you, you you love doing intros, right? Not really. But in the past, when we did these podcasts, you always want to do the intro. How long ago was the last podcast? More than a year. People change a lot in a year. So you don't want to do the intro anymore. I'll do the intro if you want me to. <laughs> do you, you want to do the intro? If you don't want to do it, you can be honest and let me know and I'll do it for you. Well, I just think you're so much better <laughs> than me at doing intros I that, that I feel like you should do it. I do think, though, that you need practice doing intros. Because I've I'm been that much doing intros for the podcast for like a year. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the OTV Podcast Episode 2. I'm Lily. What? And then you intro me. Why do I have to intro you? Intro yourself. Because the person doing the intro introduced... You're the host of this podcast. Yeah, but you're doing the intro. Why am I doing the intro then? Because you're so much better than me, remember? We That's just established true. Welcome that. Welcome to the okay, OTV Podcast Episode 2. I am Lily. And this is your host, Toast, who's supposed to be doing all this. So weird. <laughs> Doing a great job. Thank great you, job. Thank you. Welcome. Hi. How are Hi, you? Hi. Okay. How great. are you? Great. <laughs> great. Great. I'm so glad you and I are doing this podcast. I know. I feel like it. Have you ever done like a one on one podcast before? No, I d- would never want to. Well, no, we've done do a lot that. of like, we've done a lot of impromptu podcasts on stream, right? Where we just talk. <laughs> Granted, you were always like drunk and stuff, but. I mean, I think that still counts, right? Yeah, well, it was more just talking and hanging out, but this is more I mean, podcasts are more, you know, hanging out. I like the hangout, you know, I like the casual aspect of podcasts where I feel like I'm in a room and I'm talking with friends, you know? I need to feel welcomed to really, like, tell you my thoughts. <laughs> okay, well, I'm really welcome, Lily. I'm so, <laughs> you know, when they said, who do you want to be your second guest? Uh-huh, uh-huh. And I said, Lily Pichu. You said, where's Pokey when you first? <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming she couldn't make it and I'm a felon. No. <laughs> uh, they told me, who do you want for your second guest? And I said, Lily Peach. Okay. Okay. All right. Very yeah. Cool. So, you know, okay. how, how you've been? You um, know, it's been a year. What have you been doing in the last year since the last podcast you were on? You know. Um, what have you achieved in the last year? Because it's been a long time. It's 365 days, right? Already. Achievement is a very broad term like like you must have been doing some really yes. cool okay, so amazing things right remember how i always complain about not being a voice actress can't yeah, complain about that c- anymore because i'm actually a voice actress now that's oh cool. oh what did you voice <laughs> i hate saying this <laughs> have you heard of cookie run <laughs> no <laughs> what's cookie run <laughs> it's a cute little gacha cookie with cookies it's an onion cookie. She's really cute. Y- you play onion and cookie. And fact, yeah. How many lines do you have? Not a lot. It was a very short session. It's a lot of crying. I really like it. So when they asked, do you want to voice onion cookie? I was like, sure. And um, I'm like, what is an onion cookie? Because like, mm-hmm. you're your first, you know, what is it? But when you see the picture, you'll understand why I think they asked. Is, is it released yet, onion cookie? Can you? Can you? Bro, bro, go ahead and pull it. Go ahead pull it out. Pull it out. Pull up onion, onion cookie. cookie. You know, show them what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. So as soon as I saw this, right, I'm like, I get it. She's a little uh, onion cookie. She cries. That's her whole shtick. And she hugs like a little onion doll. Does she do damage? The thing is, like, she doesn't do any damage until you use her ability. And she stacks up her tears. So she's not that great. Okay. Uh, she's so- really cute. And I really liked voicing her. It was like a lot of like... Can you cry? Mm-hmm. Okay, can you sniffle? Okay, now cry three times, but different ways. And I'm like, this is so fun. You actually say anything. I do, I do. It's like, oh, where is everyone? Like that kind of like scared little girl sort of voice. Uh, can we get an example of you crying? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, how will people know? Oh, uh, well, they, they have to download the game. Is it expensive to get your character? No, I'm, a, I'm just a rare cookie. Rare cook. How many <laughs> tears of rarity are there's there? There's like common, common, rare, oh, yeah, okay. epic. There's like legendary, and like I- I'm pretty um like one above common. So out of four rarity, you're number three. Oh, there's ancient too. Oh, so you're. So you're a D class. I'm a D class. Thank you, Broden. <laughs> Very cool. Thank you. That's why we have Broden too. To really. To really rub it in there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, it doesn't. It doesn't matter how rare. I mean, it's still cool. A rare cookie is still cool. I mean, the fact that I'm in the game is cool because I spent a lot of money, money, money in it. Mm, how much? How much did you spend? You don't. Um, for Genshin and Cookie Run, I think I spent more 
than what they paid me to voice in their game. How much did you spend? I can't say this on the podcast, but I've stopped. I have stopped. I need to make this clear. I have stopped. It's been at least a month, two months. I, I have not spent anything. How much did you spend? Can I tell you like off the book? No, 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 no. We, we want to know. I'm not comfortable. Broden, I'm not comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I understand you don't want to talk about your finances. It's, it's shameful. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. It's like a source of shame. I'm not proud of it. It's, they make it so easy to link your PayPal account, right? Mm -hmm. You don't even need to type in anything. You just... What is that? Oh, my God. Broden's looking up what's the average of the voice actor. Well, we don't have to look that up for you because your income is now publicly available. <laughs> Not voice acting. Not voice acting. I think it depends if you're union, non-union. There's different rates. Are, are, are you in a union? No. I'm no? Not union. So, so you're not protected? No, I just, I just get non-union jobs. So they'll usually be like, oh, your non-union rate is like, let's say 200 per two hours or one hour, whatever. And they're like minimum two hours. So mm -hmm. you are guaranteed... Four hundred dollars. How much do union get? <clears throat> I don't know. I've never been union. You're not in union. Mm -mm. Have you been turned down from like auditions? Sag. <laughs> because you're not in the union. I don't get auditions to begin with okay. for union jobs. Because you're get... not in the union. Yes. Why aren't you in the union? I don't know. I don't. I don't know, man. <laughs> is is there any downsides to being in the union? Is it the union or a union? Oh my god. Do you ask a lot of really cool questions that I think I should know the answer to? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And I just You want to be a voice actor. So yeah, I, but I'm just like I'm just happy when an audition shows up in my email. Like, but you don't get the union job because you're not in the union. Yeah. But at least I get the non-union. That's But great. logically wouldn't you then want to get I'm into the I'm not a very logical person. As long as I get auditions, so I'm really happy. You want job. Job only for union people. You not in union. Mm. Yes. There's a lot of non-union stuff though. But can union people get non-union stuff? That's dicey. It, I think I think usually they allow it kind of, but like you kind of shouldn't. But like most people are like whatever, unless you're like a super big name. You have to get permission. Yeah, like it's from the union to get non-union jobs. Yeah. How do you get into the union? Why does Brody know about this more than you? I just want to voice stuff. Willie, did you know I'm SAG eligible? What the <laughs> fuck? You're SAG eligible? Mm -hmm. SAG is Screen Actors Guild, right? Is that the union for voice actors as well? Or is uh, it a I host? believe so, yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you need to do to get into SAG? Are you asking this because you want to be in... No, I'm asking for you because you're <gasps> you clearly... You want to be in Shang-Chi too. Yeah, but that's like a five-year plan. Okay. So how do you get into SAG? Uh, typically you, I think you have to be on a number of, uh, of shows and like submit all your call sheets to prove you've done like 60, a hundred, whatever the number is, gigs. Is cookie run enough? <laughs> I, I think that'd be one session probably. Genshin Impact. That's a big one. Yeah, but I don't, I think I have like a handful. I don't have a lot of roles. Even how no matter how big it is. Yeah. Oh, it's quantity it's based? Really, yeah. Or if you do a SAG show, you automatically flip. So, like, that's how I got eligible. Oh, uh, but you're not in it right now. No, if I want to, I'd pay $3,000 and then I'm in. <sighs> Is that, that's a one-time fee? Uh, that's the startup fee and you <laughs> do a yearly fee. Oh my God, it sounds like really hard. Okay, well. So we just need to get Lily in more roles and shows and then she applies for Screen Actors Guild Union and then... She starts getting union jobs, but then she needs permission to get non-union jobs. Actually, I think Lily will be SAG eligible in a week. Oh, because of that thing, really? Yes. Because that's what flipped me. That's what oh. oh. That we can't say yet. But. We can't say yet. <laughs> but Lily's going to be <clears throat> participating in something that will make her SAG. And she's speaking, so yeah. Is that oh. like, does, is it like... Crossover between actors and voice actors? Is that how it works? Because I, I thought it's it was the same. the same thing. Wow. No more you know. Wow. So you can be in the union in a week. <laughs> are you, are you going to do it? I don't know. Hard questions. The hard questions? Yeah. Your dream is to be a voice actress. Yeah. Being in the Screen Actors Guild gets you more auditions. I want to be in Shang-Chi 3. Three? <laughs> Why not two? Because <laughs> um, it's too late. 
They're probably already casted for that already. I don't think so. It's going to be at least another year before they start up Shang-Chi 2. Ooh. I like to keep it realistic. I think 2 is a little unrealistic. Too okay. soon. Too soon. Too but soon. 3 is. 3 is like okay. Okay. And what's your role? Because Aquafina is still in it. You know, she's kind of <laughs> nerdy, quirky, random girl. Okay. Um, they can have two nerdy, quirky, <laughs> random <laughs> girls. Yeah. So you're going to just be a copy of Aquafina in Shang-Chi 3. Ooh, when you put it that way. Okay, maybe like Aquafina, but with a twist. What's the twist? <laughs> <laughs> What's the twist? She, I, she's a, a driver, right? Yeah. I'm a, I'm a figure skater. I'm something completely different. Okay. I'm a video gamer. And how does your skill translate? How, how, how does it make you part of the movie plot? How do you see it going? That oh, they're like movie. All right, I got it. Uh -huh. In um, roughly 35 minutes into the third movie, they pass by this marketplace, and I'm one of the background characters walking by them, and you see me for like a second. Okay. And they, you, you bump into me, right? Right. And they're like, "Oh, excuse me." I'm like, "No, it's no problem." And then I walk away, and it turns out I'm a pickpocket. Okay. I took something from them. Okay. It's one of the rings. I took the ring. Oh, the the, the giant <laughs> <laughs> ring that he wears on his forearm. Yeah, it was like dangling from his pants. I took it. Okay. Mm -hmm. You took it. And I needed to sell it to pay for my mother's surgery. Okay. <laughs> because I'm in debt. Because from I'm a gambling addict. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Where does the video game part come in? I play video games. Is that part? Just, just a hobby. Just a hobby. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. So your other voice acting role was in Genshin, right? Yeah, that was really cool. That Very was cool. How how cool. you how'd you get that role? I auditioned and um, uh, okay, take it from the top. Did so they reach out or you reach out to them? It's like oh no no, call? you just get auditions. I get auditions, and I'm like, okay, I will audition for this one. Did they? Did they? Is it your agent coming to you? It's like, hey, there's a role mm. here. Or so I freelance for Atlas right now, which is a voiceover like kind of company sort of thing imaging you know they sometimes give me auditions okay. out of non-union so it. genshin was one of them so they emailed you lily peach you we no, got no, a role no. it's not lily peach you it's like they just send it out to people oh so it's i'm like, like one of like many people they like it. like oh lily's part of like um like high female voice let's let's say she would fit in this category so they send it out to like a are you guys categorized like that high female voice low they female definitely voice? have some kind of like they pick and choose like oh these people would be good for you, this blah 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 stuff i'm not gonna get auditions for like a guy right so mm -hmm. they must have some sort of system so i got it and i'm like oh she looks okay this is cute i'll do it and then that's it because usually when you audition you have to forget about it otherwise like you're just gonna be disappointed there have been many times I auditioned for something that I thought would be like, this is going to be so cool. I once auditioned for something and this is like something I really wanted this, right? I have never wanted a role so much in my life. So I actually booked a private recording studio. I booked a vocal coach to help me with my audition. Like I went all out for this audition. Mm -hmm. We recorded it. It's beautiful sounding and he's like i'm gonna be really surprised if you don't get it i'm like oh god this isn't the, i got this for sure nothing zero nothing so i was like oh, you know what that was a good lesson did you sign an nda for that project i don't think i should say oh but it's uh it's it was something i really wanted something very close and dear to your can heart. you stop <laughs> i know what you're doing so. i'm not doing anything anyway yeah so that is a disappointment i think you just have to like you have to treat auditioning like, oh, this is a good chance to practice. And if you get it, that's cool. If you don't, whatever. Did you send an, an MP3 file? Is that how it works? Uh, usually, yeah. It's an MP3 or, um, yeah, and you slate your name. Like, I'd be like, oh, Lily, waiting for Blink. And then, like, you audition one or two takes, depending on what they want. Label it and then send it in and then forget about it. Yeah. And then I got... I have a question. What's that? When you slate, do you purposely try to do a different voice than the no, character No, no, you have to do for? your regular voice. You have to do your regular voice. Because you can show your range if you're like, hi, I'm Lily Pichu. Mm -mm, people <laughs> do not like that. They want to hear what you naturally sound like. Otherwise, it's kind of, you know, disingenuous, I guess. Mm. Oh, and then I got the call back, right? And I'm like, I was like, oh my God, this is so exciting. Are there rounds to it? 
Not um sometimes there's rounds, but mm. for this one, um they just said, Oh, you got it. I'm like oh, Wow. Wow. I did it. So everyone send in their files and they're like, the oh. casting director is the one who picks it. Uh-huh. So he'll listen to, or he or she will listen to every single audition and then they'll pick the one they like the best. And sometimes it's not even like who's the best sounding per se. It's like, it could be something as small as like, I like the way they said this line. Mm-hmm. I like the way her tone sounds here. Like it could be something so small. Cause at the end of the day, everyone's like a professional. So how can you really like pick and choose? Got it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Very, very, very exciting. So when you mentioned they kind of have like s- categories and sections. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm assuming. That would make sense. It's right. like, oh, we want like a higher voice for then this Then you girl. would go for actresses who can do that. Yeah, then yeah. Are you very aware of like your competition in the voice acting space? I don't really think about that, no. You don't think about it? You don't think about the competition? Um, I think it's super competitive, yeah. But at the, end, at the end of the day, it's we're all trying to do it okay. with respect. Everyone in the voiceover community has been very nice. Have you ever had uh, experiences with games that are not that popular that ask you to voice the game and also kind of expect you to then promote the game? Oh, yes. So yeah. many times, especially when I was starting out, when I was like, I need roles. And then when people would offer me, of course, like young me would be like, yeah, I'll do it. And they're like, cool. Can you promote our Kickstarter, please? And I'm like, but I haven't wished anything. (laughs) (laughs) But my name is like on it already. Mm -hmm. And then they're like, oh, we have like this art for you and all this stuff. Right. It's too much. It it makes me feel like, okay, you just want me for promotional purposes. Not like because you want my voice. That feels kind of bad. Yeah. So, uh, any uh, other voice roles coming up? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Like like one or two, but not one that or much. two. One or which one is it? One or two? Uh, like two. 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 Are you excited about them? Yeah. One of them is really cool. Okay. What is it? I can't tell you. <laughs> is it is it is it a game? I can't tell you. They're not going to know that we are talking about it specifically. Bruh, NDAs are scary. I can't. I'm just too paranoid. Is it a game? I, I am not telling you. No, I'm not telling you. <laughs> you don't have to say out loud. The podcast listener can't see. Yes, they can. It's a YouTube. Not on Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> it's something cool. Okay. Something people will know. Sure. And when they say they're going to be like, Pog, Lily Peach. No, no, I don't know about that. It's not like huge, but I think it's still like, I, I, I will take anything that I can build my resume with, you know, because I don't have a lot. Okay, cool. I saw you played uh, Among Us with uh, Genshin Impact Voice. Yeah, actors. that's, that's, that's. How, <laughs> how was that? So apparently, um, Genshin voice actors, they have a, they have a Discord server. Mm-hmm. They schedule like monthly Among Us and stuff. I've heard of them. Mm-hmm. And when I got casted, I was invited. And I was like, oh my God, this is so exciting. Like, like this is the Genshin voice actor like, Among Us group. Like, uh-huh. I'm, I'm like part of the cool kids club at the cafeteria. Really cool because I play the game and I got to meet like all the people who voices the characters. They're all very like... Very extroverted, very, very funny. They're very nice, lively, um, a lot of them. Mm-hmm. It was really fun. How was, how was your experience? Because you probably played more Among Us. The with best, them. They, th- they all thought I was like a god at Among Us. Yeah. And I don't know why. Because you <clears throat> played in the highest lobby. I, but you remember how I played. I wasn't good. Yeah, but you're, you were a small fish in a big pond. <laughs> and when you were playing the Genshin Impact. Actually... There was a Venti's voice actress, Erica Harlicker, I remember, impressed me. She was actually really fucking good. I was like, wow. Because I do play the game. Mm-hmm. So I was like impressed with some of them. They're very good. But how'd you do? <laughs> I killed someone. And she walked by, called the meeting, and she's like, I'm sorry, Lily? And I'm like, it wasn't me. <laughs> and they all voted me out. <laughs> so I didn't do very well. But I did get like two wins. That was pretty cool. Cool, cool. All right, topic list. How did Toast and Lily meet? And what were your first impressions of each other? We've told this before. We've told this many times, but I'm but down to... since this is the brand new podcast. True, true. When you started off. All right. You know. Long ago, had a wedding. 
Is that the first time you've heard of me at the wedding? I have never heard of you before that day. I don't you even. You don't have to be that. I have never played Hearthstone in my entire. I get it. You don't know who I was. But then people were like, "Oh, this guy's toast. This guy's toast," and I'm like, "Because I was a big deal in the Hearthstone." Yeah, but I had never heard of you. Have you heard of me before then? Yeah. That's cool. But I had never heard of you, <laughs> and I um I was like, okay, Hearthstone. Back then, I thought of like Hafu, you know, Crip, Trump, etc. But I don't know. I just never heard of you. So I'm like, okay. I was like, you know, open. Yeah, I mean, people. you only paid attention to League and Weep, <coughs> weep stuff, right? So okay, yeah, yeah you probably heard of me. <laughs> but right. you, you heard of me, so yeah, I, I play League of Legends, and I saw some really cringy video. <laughs> 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 and I, I remember saying this, but like, oh, this girl is for sure <laughs> lying about her voice. <laughs> She's one of those girls. I was a bit of an insult back then. She I'll was. admit it. <laughs> and to be fair, I think my voice was like way higher back then. Like it got, it got lower. So I, when I hear my old videos too, I'm like, I can, I can actually see why people thought it was fake. It was pretty cringy. Anyway, um, what was I gonna say? We played Mafia, remember? Yeah. Yeah, and I just remember thinking like I was really impressed. You were very good at lying and deceiving people, and logically pointing out, you know, shit and then, you know, you know, winning and I'm like, oh yeah, he's really good at mafia stuff. That's cool. That mm-hmm. was my first impression of you. You were also very shy and you were very nice. Uh, you no, you were so like shy. I don't know how to word it. You were just very shy. You seemed like a very shy, sweet person. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was my first impression of you. It was pretty good. Well, everyone, when they meet someone new, would be nice to them. What was my first impression? Well, I mean, I went into it thinking you're a lying bitch. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, but, you know, I thought it was really cool to meet you because you know, I played League of Legends 10 years ago. Mm. And I remember, like, coming across some of your content. Wow, 10 years. Yeah, well, you've been, you've been doing this a long time. Too long. We met at the wedding and then... We separate, like, you guys went back to California, stayed in Canada. And all of a sudden, you, like, lived with us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I came down for TwitchCon. I remember, like, just passing by you at the convention. like, hi, oh, we're going to be roommates for a couple of weeks. Yeah, I was like, okay, cool. I didn't really, I'm like, whatever. That sounds cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, that was it. That was our first impression. Pretty positive, if I do say so myself. Except for the part where you thought I was a bitch lying bitch you didn't you didn't but you didn't know about that oh i didn't you were so good at hiding it (laughs) that's kind of scary yeah uh it was uh it was was a great time meeting you you know at the wedding meeting Mm -hmm. everyone yeah and now we're we're such great Great friends friends. yeah 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 yeah. Yeah. i think we've gotten to be good friends over the years because i know we've had a lot of ups and downs you know yeah well you want to tell people about the downs (laughs) We fought before. That's it. We fight <clears throat> a lot. Do we fight the most out of everyone in the I house? I don't think we. Out of every, uh, we have, we got five members, right? Okay, out yeah, maybe. Of, out of every no, single that's not parent. True. That's oh, not true. right, because you fight with Michael the most. I don't fight with Michael. <laughs> They're gonna believe that. Can you please tell the camera that? Tell the ca- Tell the audience. I don't do that. Please. I hear things from the garage sometimes. Oh my god, <laughs> this is actually trolling. <sighs> we fought. I think. A lot of it's like, I feel like a lot of it's very lighthearted. I think we've only had that one really bad one. And then we became closer than ever after. So it all works out, right? She's remembering things very <laughs> differently. But I would say we fight the most. I, we don't fight that much. But the most out of everyone in the house. Sure. Like one is greater than zero. Yeah. Was it one? Two is greater than one. Yeah. Three is greater than two, yeah. I but it's only because we're so comfortable each, with each other, right? I guess. It's like sibling fighting. Yeah, it's a lot like sibling stuff, yeah. Yeah, where you, you know, care and love the other person. But then you want to give them shit and they're really annoying sometimes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, so super annoying. Super annoying super and irritating. unreasonable. Not, and not, not. Illogical. You're being and really mean right now. No, no, no. I'm talking about people in general. In oh, game. okay. That's, so it's not just. You're kind of projecting. <laughs> <laughs> you're, no, no, you're projecting. Well, he, he's mean in a way. It's not like when people are mean to each other, right? It's not like, oh, you suck. I hate you. You're not, your mean is not like that. It's more like underhanded, subtle. And it makes it really you're hard. You're reading thing. 
you're reading too much into things. This is all in your head. Sometimes I do think, or let say, I do think like you don't approve of, right? And you'll do, you'll give me this look, like like the stare down, right? Very disappointed. And I'm like, what? And he's like, I'm just looking. Why you gotta be so upset? Like you do that, you make me feel crazy. <laughs> I'm just asking a question. See, that's not, it's not that innocent. I'm just asking a question. Uh, we, we, we have a, we have a, we have a unbiased third party bro. <laughs> <laughs> Between me and Lily, who's more emotional and unreasonable? Are you serious? <laughs> See, that's what I mean by the underhanded. Like, it's who's more emotional and unreasonable? You know, you're setting him up to tell, say me, but I can't say anything because I'm going to look Emotional and unreasonable. I do. We, <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. Let's move on. Okay. <laughs> so, interest. Lily wants to make a music video. I do. That's my dream. Yeah, it's, it's like you talk about it a lot. Brennan's going to help me, right, Brennan? Mm-hmm. I ask him every day, how's my music video? He's busy with OTV stuff, you realize. <laughs> Yeah, Broden, how are you going to fit this into your OTV schedule? Um, I'll give you money. After our next shoot, things ease up a little bit, so. Are you sure? Cause, yeah, are he, you paying him? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to pay him for this. Is you paying a good rate, Broden? I offered a, a decent amount of money, you, right? You don't, you don't <laughs> answer that question. He answers the question. Broden, tell the man the truth. You haven't told me what I'm getting paid. You just said what the rate of oh, the whole I thing just, is. Oh, I just wanted to give you like a budget and you pay yourself based on that. I can take the whole thing? I mean, if you can make it good. Like, I want you to be in charge of that, you know? Like, I'll give you like thousands of dollars. Like, this is the money and you, you take a cut of it. That's a lot of trust. Thank you. I trust you. Because I don't know how, to, how much to pay, like, people, like, for this kind of stuff. I think you would know that more than me, right? Each person gets paid $10,000. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. What, what's your budget? I was willing to put fifteen k down. 15000 So you have one and a half people. <laughs> You're giving Broden 15000 to work with to make a music video? Like, it could be something really simple. I'm not looking for, like, Bella Porch music video. I'm looking for something more, like... Indie feel like 20k, 20k. I'll go to 20k. So t- 20k is what you're working with. Yeah. Okay. I, I don't know. Bro, what can you do with 20k? That's not. That's for music video industry. That's very, very I mean, low. I, it's just me though. I don't have like a company. Like a label to pay for it. <laughs> I was thinking about what if like one of my rich, rich friends. I gets- told you I would pay for the music he video said he would do it if he starred in it yeah if i was the main character can you make that work that would be a win-win because then he gets acting experience for shang chi can you make it can you make it look can you make it work with the song though like you think about it we, yeah we can think about it we'll oh think about it God. okay whatever what's the song about um um uh getting older Okay. Uh, I can get older. It's not like, like you're j- losing potential, feeling like you're not doing anything with your life. I can do that. I can act that. Really? Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. So right. there's no reason why I can't be. Yeah, but the aesthetic of the song. Who's going to be the star then, huh? Is it you? Yeah, who's going to be the star? <laughs> I could do it. So you're going to star in your music video? I mean, I sing it, so I would like to. So- but if, like, Visually, I, it also feels kind of bad. Like your first music video, it stars another person. Like I'm down for the second one, you know. Okay, so it sounds like you just want to be in it. Okay. I do. It's, it's not it's a, like it's a not a me thing, right? It's no, no, no. Thing. It's also a you thing because it's, like if it was like a song that matched you starring in it, I, I could see that. <laughs> like maybe in the future. But what if he plays you? Oh, so you you look like me. Be- did Beyonce did that right? Where she acts as like the husband, but it's revealed at the end that she is the husband. You know? Oh, I think so. Because uh, she's talking about how like men are treated so much favorably as women. Mm. So she was like True. doing some like shitty things. Mm. And it's like, oh, wow, she's a bitch. But at the end, it's revealed, oh, no, she was just the cheating husband. Taylor Swift also did one where the whole music video, she looks like a guy. And then at the end, she like pulls her face off. And then you realize, like, oh, all the stuff she did, like, like we kind of take it for granted that a guy doing it, like a corporate 
guy doing junk. But then when you oh, see the, girl, the man, like, oh, yeah, right. Oh, so people have done this before. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm gonna put that in, that idea in the back pocket and save it for later. You're not putting me in your music video, are you? No, I would. I I am actually totally down, but I don't. Maybe okay. for like what, what do I get if I put in 30,000? Ooh, okay. All right. You want the tier list? Okay. All right. For a low, low fee of $5,000, I will put a toast plushie in one of the background. For $10,000, I'll wear your merch. For 20 k you're in a shot. 30 k it's it's... um. Speaking role? I don't know. A, a speaking role. Oh, well, is the music video going to have like a intro? Wait, that's actually, I didn't think about that. Like, uh, you know, some music videos have like like little acting. Yeah, at, That'd the, be at the very cool. start, right? That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, okay. Okay. I'll think about it. I'll put it in my back pocket. All right, all right. Cool, cool, cool. Success of Dreamy Night. But well, this kind of leads into the music video. How long ago was Dreamy Night? I think a year ago, more a little more than a year ago. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And now you're working on a music video. Is the sound is the song gonna come out first, or is it gonna come out with the music video? I wanted to release simultaneously, but I feel like it's gonna take so long. Like the song's like almost done. Do you make money from Spotify? Yeah, I do actually. Is it based on per listen? Um, kind of. Spotify pays like peanuts per mm-hmm. listen, but all together, sometimes you get paid a lot. Like. It's also, you distribute it not only to Spotify, but Apple Music, Amazon, TikTok, wherever the YouTube music, etc. Okay. So all of that is paid through, distri- I use like a music distribu- distribution service. There's a lot. I use DistroKid and then they pay me. I pay them a yearly fee for that. Mm-hmm. And then you can do like percentage split. So what I do is I usually give producers a percentage um, or anyone I collaborate, collaborate with. Wow. Voice acting, music, Can art. Can you stop? I just weird. It's that's that's impressive. Thank you very much. So, how do you feel about streaming then? Um, I think streaming is a means to fund that. But you're not you're not super passionate about streaming video games. I feel like I've been doing it for so long. You know, when you stream for a really long time, I'm not. You know, it's just kind of uh, tiring. Tiring. But uh, you can't deny that it, it is a good job. Mm-hmm. It pays a lot. It. Works. How much? 104 I, can you stop it's out there <laughs> i know but why you gotta do that um it pays a lot if it weren't for stream i wouldn't be able to fund any of this all my voice acting classes my workshops my demo reels like the music my producers mixing art all of this would not be possible without streaming yeah. so i am thankful for the financial stability it gives mm-hmm. but that's not forever you know yeah, so you're looking to do more passion projects. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is there anything about streaming you don't like that kind of like makes you want to branch out? Yeah. I think streaming is like, I don't know the end goal of streaming. Like you you stream, you build a community. I think that's wonderful. Yeah. And then like, where do you go? Do you always strive for more numbers? Do you strive for more money? Do you strive? What are you, what are you looking for in streaming? And that feels kind of empty sometimes. I'm sure you feel the same way. Mm. I'm trying to build rapport, you know, just build rapport with me. Mm-hmm. But we have a lot of rapport. I know, but like, you know, just give me something to work with. Okay, so streaming. You want to talk about this, the Twitch income stuff? Not specifically about you. Okay, if it's not specifically about me, sure. Okay, well, how does it feel to be outside the top 100? <laughs> <laughs> What was your reaction when the whole thing got leaked? So for those who don't know, every Twitch streamer income got leaked. got leaked because Amazon had a security breach or something. And now like every streamer is like how much they made over the last two years is public. Mm-hmm. And the public reaction is like, wow, that's so much money. But I feel like this was not hidden knowledge. Mm-hmm. Like I had my sub counter on... Like, yeah, I, I, to, I tell Sub counts are all publicly I available. I tell them, like, yeah, so I'm spending money on this. I'm, I'm dumping thousands of music video. I'm doing this. Like, I tell people, like, 
I this is why I like the money. Like mm. this is why I use it. Like I don't. It's like I do feel like if I tried a little harder in the past, I'd be top one hundred. Have you personally faced any backlash or criticism from it? I don't think so. Okay. No, it's like it is what it is, sort right. of feel. Because you don't really talk about like income and like stuff. I've, like I've that. never talked about that to begin with. Like I don't go on my stream like, "Hey guys, last week I made this much." Like I'm not gonna do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think most of the at least negative reaction is towards streamers who kind of like really lean into. I'm poor. I'm poor. I'm poor. Poor, poor, or I like think, I hear a lot subs. about that. I, I, I don't can't think of anyone who really does, but I'll take their word for it. Yeah, I don't think any of the like top even 1,000 streamers say, oh, I'm actually struggling. Please mm -hmm. pay for my stuff. But there are some things like sub go, hey, you know, pay for my flight. You know, I'll go to this event and or um, I need to get a new PC mm -hmm. and they farm subs. And I think it's it's, it's a tricky uh, situation. At this, It's like... People are choosing to give streamers money. Mm -hmm. No one is forcing them to. Yeah, I think the majority of reactions, negative ones, aren't from the people who actually gave the money. It's from the people who... Don't understand why you would give money. Yeah, they're actually. like more on the sidelines. They watch the streamer, but they don't actually donate. And they like make fun of the people who do, you know, spend money on streamers and kind of call them like simps or like white knights. Oh, God. You know what? It's... Funny because I think a lot of the top earners are guys, I mm -hmm. feel. But then the whole stigma against girls farming tier three subs or donos or whatever always kind of bothered me a little. Yeah. I remember being really like self conscious about that in the past. So I'm like, okay, I can never sell out. I can never do anything that makes people think that way or stuff like that. So I was like, okay, I'm going to disable donos. I'm going to like do all this stuff like to make. I was like paranoid. I don't know why. Because I saw a lot of hate that Pokey got, you know? Yeah. Because everyone means that, oh, like, you're a tier three, so blah, 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 whatever. But when you look at the numbers, it's not true. No. Yeah. When you look at the numbers, uh, I think Pokey is a relatively <laughs> low. Like, Compared to the top top. Yeah. Like, her brand is probably one of the biggest out there, especially as, you know, the premier female streamer. Mm -hmm. But she's pretty low. And yet people will say, oh... Pokey fans will donate their life savings to it's get attention from the queen. She capped her donos. <laughs> yeah, like she capped her dono and we literally but now have proof. But we're okay with like all the guys doing the same exact things, you know? Yeah. So it's like, eh? like when you hear the word simp or white knight, it's always it's for, applied to yeah. female fans and so female viewers. Some of that makes you feel very like uncomfortable because you don't want to be perceived in that way. But at the same time, it's also not kind not fair. I would argue that some of the viewers of like male streamers are even more fanatical. I have seen that, yes. Yes. And it's like no one, I feel like barely anyone calls them out as much as Sims White Knights. Right. I hate that term. Like I've seen drama between like streamers, like fans of guy streamers that will go to people's Twitter profile or Twitch chat and send death threats. And like really just gas the streamer up, but they don't get called simps or white knights. They're just like, oh, that's a fan. That's it's just like, a super fan fan. Yeah. But if it's a viewer off a female streamer, it's like, oh, he's only doing it because he's in love with the streamer, right? Yeah, you hear that a lot too. I still get comments like, people only watch you because you're a girl. I'm like, okay. People don't want you even if you were not a girl. So, yeah, no, uh, I think girls face a very different problem and like challenges as guy streamers i think um it i keep saying it will get better but it has gotten better like there's like you know baby steps it's better than like 10 years ago you know when there were like no girls yeah but now there's like a lot of girls i think a lot of uh, girls in our friend circle is doing a lot like they're good role models all right Cool. cool. Moving on. Uh, oh God, this um, this uh, how did you and Michael fall in love? Oh, we, we, I, you you told <laughs> me and Michael. You you've yeah. Okay. How, me and Michael. Yes, yes, you and Michael. Oh, you guys so nice. <laughs> we don't have to do talk about this. Well, back in the, okay, you know it's fine. It's cool. Ba back in what? You know, he was just a good friend. It just happened. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay. 
Yeah, I Sick. remember uh, the day you guys uh, announced it. It was yes. the day you won Twitch Rivals. That was so. one of the best days of my life. I won Twitch Rivals. Mm -hmm. And I... Yeah. I mean, we had okayed it beforehand. Because uh -huh. I didn't want to, like, you know, make him uncomfortable. And he was like, I'm okay with it. I'm like, okay, let's make it official. I'm like, okay, it's cute. Okay. Did you ever <laughs> tell people, like, how much I did to make it happen? What did you do? <laughs> Sorry, this is new to me too. Could you fill in for me, please? Lily's trying to rewrite history, but if it wasn't for me, that day wouldn't have happened. Because you played Torch Rival <laughs> at your apartment. At my apartment using my internet because the OTV internet was so bad she couldn't play from it. I did go to his apartment every day for three days just to play League of Legends. It was really nice. Your mom was very nice. And I was really nice for letting you. Use my setup. Mom, his mom fed me. I'm like, oh my god, thank you so much, Toast Mom. And, and I just, you know, one, one of my sore points, you never gave me proper credit for making it all happen. So now's a good opportunity for you. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. Thank you for letting me use your apartment and your internet for Twitch Rivals two, three years ago. Which then resulted you and That's not true. That would have happened regardless. Well, we don't know that. Yes, we do. Twitch Rivals is not the reason. Okay, moving on. Well, you know, we'll agree to disagree. What did you want to do when you were a kid? Oh, I wanted to be a pilot. Like a plane pilot? Yeah, okay, let me tell you. When I was four years old, we were on a yearbook, right? And we had to write down, we had to draw what we wanted to be. And like, they asked, the teacher asked all of us, I was five or six, and I'm like, I want to be an artist. And she's like, okay. And she moves on. And I saw the kid next to me, right? And they're like, I want to be a pilot. And I'm like, that sounds fucking sick. Okay, I want to be a pilot too. So I changed my answer. I want to be a pilot. <laughs> and the teacher comes and like, Lily, you said you wanted to be an artist. I'm like, no, nah, I want to be a pilot now. She's like, do you even know what a pilot is? I'm like, no, but it's cool. Helicopter. She's like, you want to be an artist? I'm like, no, I want to be a pilot. And then she's like, okay, you can be a pilot. So if you look at my yearbook mm -hmm. from first grade or something, you can see me, my drawing of a helicopter. Lily, I want to be a pilot in shitty little handwriting. Isn't that cute? When did you give up on that dream? Uh, literally the day after. <laughs> was this a serious question? I don't know. I was just telling a really cute story. No, that's a great story. Thank okay. you for sharing. Mm -hmm. Cool story, Lily. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Know, it was really cool. What did you want to be when you grew up, huh? Nice. <laughs> Uh, I want to be a doctor. Oh, I can see that. I yeah. think in another life you could have been a doctor. Yeah, I, I've had these thoughts where... For sure. Um, like, we all choose our careers, right? Everyone listening or are, are choosing their careers right now. Yes. And it makes you wonder, is this, is this the job that I'm best suited for? Like, what if, like... Had I went down another route, like say a doctor, that would have become like a really good doctor, right? Yeah, there's a world like that. But there's always like what ifs, right? Mm -hmm. You could have been the best football player for all we know. We would never know. I could have been the best surgeon. Literally never know. No, no, that's not true. Tell us, tell us if I was brought up a different way, you know? I could have been something else. I could have been like a famous uh hockey player never know do you think being a streamer is the best was the best use of your time <sighs> i don't know <laughs> maybe i guess i like to believe it was because this is the life i have now Got it. otherwise yeah. it's kind of depressing yeah did you ever talk about getting your palms red oh no i haven't Oh, you want to talk about that? Oh, I'm totally down. <laughs> okay, perfect. Lily Pichu paid two hundred dollars for uh, wasn't the only one. a very sketchy lady in West Hollywood. So at, at midnight. Me and Wendy, uh, and I, like yeah, my friends and I, we were mm -hmm. driving and we we passed this advertisement that said get your palms red, and we were like. Why don't we try? Like, I've never tried. Yeah, it's yeah, fun, Yeah, why don't right? we try? Palm reading. So we brought toast with us, and we go, and she gives us, she was kind of a, um, she kind was, of mean. She was a little mean. Abrasive. Abrasive. But you did warm up to her when you got your palms, right? Yeah, she's not like, 
rude me. She's just like very abrasive. Abrasive. Like, like she's from New York kind of deal. I was so startled. I'm like, oh, yes. And he's like, what do you want? What do you want? And I'm like, oh, okay, okay, this is what I want. She gave us a menu mm-hmm. of all the things. The cheapest things were palm reading. You could have one palm read or two palms read. Yeah. One palm was 100, two palms was 200. That makes sense. And the most expensive thing on that menu like went up to like 20K. To get like your chakra, whatever the heck. Yeah, twenty thousand dollars in a shady looking room. What do you even get for twenty k? I'm so curious, but it's, I'm never gonna pay I that. think it was called chakra Some, realignment. Oh yeah, I don't I don't know. Yeah, like if your chakra's off, you can pay this woman twenty thousand dollars to realign it for you. That's cool. Yeah. But we got the palm option because, you know. Yeah, you paid $200 for a woman to read. Look at your palms. Yeah, yeah. And what what was, do you remember one of the first questions we asked her? Can we record it? Yeah. She said that's illegal. You can't. And she made us turn off our phones. Yeah, she was really. Adamant about that. Yeah. It's it's not like, oh, no, sorry, you can't. I won't give her. She's like, you cannot. You cannot do it. That's illegal. You know, you cannot have anything in the state of California. we didn't. But I do remember the things. I tried really hard to remember, like, everything she said so I can tell her the story later. She also said, do not tell your palm results to anyone. So what she said was that I was going to have two sets of twins. Yeah. Four, four kids. Four kids. I don't want any kids. Four kids. She said, she said like she can envision me living like a really like white picket fence life sort of thing. And she's like, um, someone, with, it was really, she was like someone with two R's in their name is going to come up to you and offer you an investment. You should not take it. They will ruin your character. And I'm thinking like who in our friend group has two R's in their name? Oh, mm-hmm. fuck, it's Scar. <laughs> so I'm like, if Scar comes to me for an investment, I'm not taking it. What else did she say? Oh, she said I was bored. Like in your relationship. Yeah, she's like, oh yeah, he's good, but like you're really bored, and I'm like, I'm really happy, but I didn't say that. Super bored, and she's like, you need like some more things. Like you need to come without your friends next time, and I want you to do another reading. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. She said a lot of things that were just not true, but. Mm. Was it two hundred dollars well spent? No, no, I would not do this. Again. No, I, I'm sure. Like, it's it's just not for me. I maybe it's for other people, but it's not for me. I think it's one of those things where it's you want to believe in something sometimes, right? Mm-hmm. Whether it's psychic or anything really, that's kind of supernatural. But so far, my experience has not been that great. Mm-hmm. And afterwards, we all compared our stories mm-hmm. and there were some a lot of similarities a lot of similarities a lot of, she said the same thing to Alaya so I'm yeah. like oh is this why you told us not to tell people do you believe in anything Spiritual, I want to I want to believe in ghosts mm-hmm. I want to go to haunted houses I want to go to like asylums I want to like see proof no but right now you don't Mm-mm. haven't seen anything that would make you Nothing. believe thing I also like have tried all those uh you know those rituals yeah, Ouija boards. Every single one you can think of, I feel like I have tried. There's one that's really scary where you have to be home alone and then you sprinkle salt around yourself. You have a candle. Every light in the house is off and you call. It's like really creepy. It's like you're inviting a ghost over or something like that. No, no ghost came over. No ghost came over. Why do you want to believe in stuff like that? I think so it's just be really cool if something like that existed. I remember when I was younger... I desperately wanted like magic to exist, like adventuring, like I kind of, I, I grew up with MMOs and stuff like that. So I wanted like cool things to exist, ghost spirits. If I ever died, um, I'll I'll try to give you a sign that ghosts exist. Okay, what what sign would that be? I'll re- okay. Tell me now, and then I'll. If it ever happens, I'll know. Oh, yeah. Lie. Okay, this is like a fail-safe plan. Okay. okay. If I ever die, in your bathroom wall, your bathroom mirror, I'll say, um, so I have to do something. I'll write "Stay comfy in blood" on your mirror. <laughs> no. Yeah. No, that'll do it. <laughs> that would definitely do it. I thought you were going to be more subtle. Oh, you want subtle. Okay, how about after you shower, 
And then there's like, it's foggy, it's right? It's foggy, yeah. It's like, you know, like the writing? Yeah. I'll write stay comfy there. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Oh, or like your bed stand. I'll try to knock things over. Let's let's go with the stay comfy okay, one. Okay, all right. Okay. So and, now you know. But you have to promise me you won't do it while you're alive because it's going to throw me off. <laughs> you can't come into my shower like and then write it. You're going to say... <laughs> see the writing and you're like oh lily and someone's <laughs> gonna call you There's... sorry that's a little dark if you had to go back in time and change one thing what would you change apple stocks amazon stocks that's that's the thing well that that i guess that makes sense you'll, like, be, you'll be financially secure for the rest of your life but then you wouldn't have become a streamer yeah, I guess. You ever think what you would do if you went back in time and you had the knowledge of everything? Oh, God, I'd be so depressed, though. Like, all the relationships and friendships I have, they wouldn't exist. But you can remake them. How? What if, like, it was how it was supposed to be, you know? Yeah, like, like are you able to recreate those friendships knowing that person? Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's, like, weird. Like, let's say, like, I meet Michael now, right? Yeah. I'm like, hey, I know everything about you. And he'd be weirded the fuck out, right? Well, so, are you meeting him 10 years ago? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I would have to meet him like way later too, right? Yeah. <laughs> like after <laughs> high school. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you fuck. Okay. Ten years ago. Uh -oh. I don't. Like even if you go back five years, and you know, you meet me at the wedding. It's like, it, how would you act in a way that won't freak me out? I will be very friendly to you. Let's. You want to reenact it? This is the wedding table, okay? Okay. Okay. But you have the knowledge that we're good and friends. And you're you don't. I don't. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Hi. Uh, you're a disguised toast, right? Yeah. Hi. Oh my gosh. Um, Hearthstone, right? <laughs> Now, now I would know you're from Hearthstone. Yeah, because now you know. But then you already fucked with the timeline. Because when you first met me, you didn't know about me Wait, and Hearthstone. So I thought the whole point of this is like we could make it like better, oh, right? better yeah. friendship. But what if your attempt to make it better actually makes it worse? How is that going to make it worse? I just gas you up because of your you know, insecurity. But, but if you know who he is, then he's going to go into it thinking like, oh, she knows who I am and have like a guard up. No, no, no. No, no, no. That's not true. Okay, keep going. Hearthstone, right? Oh, yeah. Have you seen myself? Yeah, all the time. I actually, like, context. I watched all your videos and streams before this, so I have a better context clue. Ah. Yeah. Which video did you watch? Ah, uh, the one where you did the disguise toast. Like, I'm just... Oh, uh, no, I do, I do it in all of them. Yeah, no, they're, they're really funny. Yeah, which one, though? The third one. <laughs> the third one? Do you remember what it was? You wouldn't ask that. You would just be like, oh, thank you, thank you. You would do that. How would you know what I, I know. would do? I know. I feel like I would be you, but oh my God. Okay, now you're me. I'm you. Go. I'm, who am I? <laughs> I I'm <laughs> toast. Me. I'm you. And I'm you from five years ago, but you have the knowledge of me. Like you're me with the knowledge. We just flipped roles. Go. So I'm still this guy's toast. No, I'm toast. We're the same people, but we're just flipped. So you're me with the knowledge? That means we're not the same people if we're flipped. No. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, your disguise tells I'm Lily Peach. Yes. And I know who you are. Yes. Okay, okay go. I'm eating food. Oh, hey. Oh, uh, hi. Well, okay, sorry. Okay. Hi, I'm Lily. Nice to meet you. Oh, I'm uh, uh, Jeremy. Nice to meet you. Oh, Jeremy. Uh, so what do you do? Um, have you heard of Hearthstone? Yeah, Hearthstone. That's the card game, right? Yeah, I am just a content creator for that. Yeah. All right, cool, cool, cool. Oh, it was great meeting you. Okay. And then we she never totally become. Her voice. <laughs> <laughs> and then we never become friends. You're terrible at being me. I would not do that. I would be way more like. Okay, this time you're toast with the knowledge, and I'm me, and I don't have the knowledge. Go. I'm waiting. Well, okay. If I have the knowledge, I think I would be too afraid to say anything. You would have the maturity and wisdom of Toast now, 
compared to you five years ago when you were like an infant. But you wouldn't have that maturity because you didn't go through any of the things you've gone through in the last five years that made you who you are. I was still a pleasant person. You were a child back then. You were a child. You were a child. You were a child too. Okay, what's the moral of the story? (laughs) We're not, we're glad where we are right now. So do you think you can recreate those friendships? Oh God, it's hard. It's like the idea of doing everything over again, going through everything over again is difficult. Because like you would want to do it better, right? Yes. But what if that fucks up the friendship? Then you're fucked. Yeah. So would you? Um, I would do my best to keep it kind of similar, but maybe correct my past mistakes. So if you had the option to go back in time five years and relive your life with knowledge <sighs> that you've gained, you would do it. Honestly, maybe not. I don't know. I'm just, I feel like you should because you can do a lot of things better, right? But I am a very lazy person. Mm-hmm. And the idea of going through all of that again is like, it's like a huge But you get to be boulder. five years younger. Uh, I'm gonna get old anyway. Would you do it, Broden? Uh, yeah, but I, you guys are just reminding me that. This, have you seen the movie Hot Tub Time Machine? I've heard mm, of that. No, I've seen Butterfly Effect, which is a similar concept. They reference Butterfly Effect in Hot Tub Time Machine. Ah, uh, but the the that's their whole thing is like they go back in time and they're like, oh, we have to like do it all again, or we're gonna mess with the future. But then as they're doing it, they're like. I don't want to do this again. Let's just mess with the future. I don't care. Hmm. I feel like that's probably what would happen with me. Yeah. I feel like most people would be like that. You can't perfectly recreate everything when you go back five years. I don't remember what I had for dinner last night. So. Yeah. Yeah. It would be really sad if you went back and like. No one knew you or like. You yeah. had no, none of your friends. They don't even know who you are, but you have all this rich history with them. What do you do? Yeah, and when you try to convince them off it, they'll just think you're crazy. Exactly. Exactly. I look at my friends and I'm like, guys, and they're like, oh my God, <laughs> she's crazy. Get away from me. Yeah, so, no, yeah, would not, would not go back. Probably not. Too afraid to mess things up. Okay. We have an end of podcast section calls advice we might do this at the end of because you're really good at giving advice to people. i am very good at giving advice let's go you're great at telling people what they want to hear <laughs> you have to think about that sometimes people need to hear what they want to hear but sometimes they need to hear the harsh truth i think there's a healthy mix of both which one do you think you give um i think i do both Okay, you think you are a fair advice giver? I think I try to be. Okay, you don't feel like you... I try to give fair advice, but worded in a very nice way that they'll be receptive, something you could learn from. Anyway, could you read the thing? Yeah, I'll read the thing. I am in my mid-20s, and I feel like I'm uncertain on which direction I'm headed and what my goals are. Do you have any advice on how to figure things out? Oh, you're in luck, honey (laughs) poony. Because Lily Peachy will have the answer that will solve your life direction problems. Take it away, Lily Peachy. Great advice giver. What is I can't, okay? This is the type of it's a very generic question, right? Very open. You hear that? <laughs> no, 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 you generic don't, motherfucker. Fuck. You know what I mean? They're like, how can I make my life like better? How how do yeah. I know what to do? Blah blah blah. It's a common struggle it's people a have. Super common struggle, and the answer is uh. Post, I think you know this one. Take it away. Um, well, not to get too dark, but last night I was in a car with some friends and my friend was talking about how like someone she knew like had a really hard time at school and kind of just like gave up and stopped trying. And like, it, it happens to a lot of people. Like when you're in school, you think like your grades are everything. Yeah. It's yeah. like, oh my God, I need good grades. I need to do well. I need to get like A's and B's so I can get into a university so I can get my diploma and go work, right? But that's really not the case. Like if you get a 70 or a 60, even if you fail classes, it's completely fine. And... When did you figure out what you want to do? Uh, I think I got really lucky in that it just happened. Mm-hmm. Like I had no idea what to do too. Similar. 
to you. Like I, I was in uh, community college. Like, what do you, what do you want? What do I want to do? What job do I want? Like, I had no idea. How were your grades in high school? Oh my god, I almost failed high school because I missed the minimum amount of attendance. You have to like, let's say you have to go to high school like X amount of days. Mm-hmm. I was like one below that, and it was like really, really, and I was like two point something GPA, terrible. So I had no choice but to go to community college, right. and I was like, wow. Do you feel really like, oh God, I fucked up my life? Kinda, but then I went to community college, and it felt like it was like my second chance at high school almost. Mm-hmm. So I had a good time in community college, and then I started playing games, and then. I just started making videos and people liked it and it kind of snowballed from there. I think I got very fortunate that it just kind of puzzle pieces kind of fell into place. But if it weren't for that, I genuinely, genuinely don't know what I would have done to figure out my life. I think I would have just resigned to the fact that oh, I should just choose something and stick with it. Right. Mm hmm. But it's a hard question to answer because it's so different for everyone. And some people don't know what they want to do with their life in their 30s, 40s, 50s. Yeah, a lot of people find a calling pretty late. Uh, I went to university for computer science and I failed that completely. And I remember freaking out because I've been in university for five years and I didn't have enough credits to graduate and like it was expensive and I just wanted to stop going. Uh, I really enjoyed making like uh, mobile apps for fun and that's how I got some skills and then I I researched Photoshop and learned how to make uh, cute little posters for Hearthstone (laughs) and you know started building up like a portfolio and that's I I don't know I was like 26 when it happened and uh, yeah you can start pretty late like 20s 30s and it's not the end of the world if you haven't figured it out. Like it, you could go to university for a subject you have zero passion about, and that's okay. Like if you realize that three years in, it's not the end of the world, right? You just got you got really uh, think about what you want to do, and you can. It's hard though. Yeah, like it's hard. take the steps you need to make to try and make that reality. My thing is. Always try to figure out what your advantage is. Your advantage, Lily, is you're very musically talented, artistically oh, talented, oh, which is oh, rare thanks. in the streamer scene, right? And you're able to combine that with gaming and be like, oh, you know, I'm, talk- I'm singing about League of Legends. Not a lot of people can do that. Back then, League parody songs were the shit. Yeah, a lot of people listened to that. A lot of that was not. That was fun. But most of them are gamers, and you actually have a little bit of singing background, right? That was your sure. advantage. Oh, well, thanks. So. <laughs> they compliment your <clears throat> Um, Your advantage. I know what my advantage is. I thought I'm like a big, <laughs> your brain big. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, no, seriously. Uh, you're, yeah, big. You're smart. I'm trying to be genuine. I had a background in mathematics, which made it easy Smart. for me to do analysis. Good numbers. On Hearthstone probabilities. Numbers, smart. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, whatever you do, you got to figure out, like, do you have an advantage? Because if you don't, that, you should really try and get into a field where you have an advantage over your peers. That makes me think of when Among Us first happened. And it was like a game of deception and like mafia. Because I mentioned he's really good at it. Like, I feel like that you really thrived in that. <clears throat> yeah, like it was a good game because for him specifically. Yeah, it was social, but it wasn't reliant on like being nice or talking to people. Mm-hmm. It was just like logical fallacies, right? Yeah, I love logic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. I just started dating someone a month ago. My family wants to meet her already, but it feels like it's too soon. When's a good time to introduce your significant other to your parents' family? Have you met Michael's parents? No, because I haven't had a chance to go to Hawaii. Is that the reason? Hmm? Is That's the reason why you haven't met them? Yeah. I so, think he's open to it. Okay. He's met mine. How, how did that go? <laughs> so cute. We came to the house before they arrived home. And he's like, I got to change my shirt. <laughs> he goes and changes. He comes out. and he's, I'm like, did you brush your teeth? And he's like, yeah, I combed his hair. It was really cute. And what did your parents think? They were very nice. He was like, really, he was like, nice boy. And he was like, very respectful. It was cute. Uh, it went very really well. 
how far along in their relationship was that? I don't really remember. But it's been like a good time, I would say. But this guy is only dating a month. Month is very fast. I would introduce them if I knew I was serious about them. Right? Yeah. Because like, you don't want to introduce someone and then like, oh, sorry, we broke up like a week later. Yeah, I think it's more dependent on the significant other, right? Mm-hmm. Would you be, because like, I wouldn't be uncomfortable if my parents wanted to meet like someone I'm dating. I'm saying, all right, well, why? But, you know, I don't okay. it's not a big deal. But I would feel pressure if I'm dating someone a month in and they're like, hey, I want you to meet my parents. Yep. Here it says their family wants to meet her, not her. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, if you think it's too soon and you're not comfortable, like, take it at your own pace. Mm, but then the girl's going to be like, why, why won't you introduce me to your family? Well, that's nothing to really, you know, she, you know the, the family wants to meet her. She, she didn't express interest in her. Okay, why she wants to meet her? In a month? Yeah. I still feel like that's like, if you're uncomfortable with it, you know, I think it's understandable. Like a month is. All right, let's role play. You love role playing. I do love role playing, yes. Okay, so you want to meet my parents. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Um, uh, toast? Yeah, what do you want? You would talk to <laughs> your girlfriend? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, I'm just thinking we've been dating for a month. Do you think I could meet your parents sometimes? So in this hypothetical world where we're dating, you call me toast? Shh, <laughs> fuck you. Okay. Jeremy, <laughs> can I meet your parents? It's been a month. A month. Uh, when am I going to meet your parents? We've been dating for a month. Come on. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, they're in Canada right now. Okay, let's go to Canada. Canada trip. Uh, I, I have, like, OTV shoots. and then You're you just making excuses. No, no, no. We actually have a shoot, like... Okay, then in, can you make time? Like, I'd really like to meet your parents. But, but they're in Canada, though. Okay, so can you make time for us to go to Canada? I need to be in LA for my shoot. Okay, then fly them over. You're just ma- you're literally just making excuses. <laughs> They're unvaccinated. <laughs> <laughs> they don't believe in the vaccine. Good. Neither do I. <laughs> and scene. Great. So you you don't have now now you don't have to meet my parents, right? Well, no. Well, she can't. They can't cross the border because of their. I can't cross the border either. Okay, fine. Let me video call them. Mm, checkmate. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think video call would be fine. Oh, so you don't want to actually... Uh, yeah, because for me, meeting the parents is like a big deal. Okay, like it's a big I'm, deal for a lot of people. Yeah, because it, it gives expectations to the person I'm seeing. It's like, because if you're meeting parents, it's like, oh, that's a, a big step. step. Yeah, like you're yeah. serious about this person. Yeah. I think they should meet parents if you're serious about them, mm-hmm. if you're integrating them into the family. So uh, to answer your question... Don't worry about it. Introduce them and it'll definitely go well. Oh, yeah. Just things just, yeah. Improv it. Life is improv. All right. If you guys want to submit some questions, I'm not sure if we'll answer more questions, but, you know. For him and other guests, feel free. Okay. Yeah. Just drop it in uh, the comments below. And yeah. Wow. This was a, this was a great podcast. I feel yeah. Like... I think I learned a lot. What, what have you learned today? <laughs> You're an asshole. I'm just talking. You're you're a great host. You learned a lot about you. Yeah, what like what did you learn? You good host. No, you mentioned that part. Good host. Very I like your topic. Thank you, Lily Pichu, for coming on the podcast really well. Thank today. Uh time, buddy. Anything uh you have coming up that uh, we should um, keep an eye out for? Yes. Because it's gonna be a while before you're not next. Next on the podcast. Wait, why? I was, if I it's was going to be a long guest, time. If I were such a good guest, you'd invite me again, right? No, we got to go through like all the OTV members. Okay, you but Scar then like, you can go back to me. I'm like, I'm pretty, I'm pretty chill. Well, we got some, we, we have a few guests lined up after that as well. Oh, okay. And then oh. cycles back to Michael. Oh, I mean, if Michael's on it, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. Have you thought about, um, actually, never mind. I was going to say I've thought about doing three people, but you know what? <laughs> Cool. Okay, so anything you have coming up? No. That we can, nothing? No. No. No? Nothing. No. Nothing going on? Um. Okay, just the usual then. All right. Thank you all very much for watching. We'll be back next week. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Unless you're on like Spotify and you're listening to us in your car or something. Do you think they're listening to us in their car? They are right definitely now? listening. That is so cool. Where are you driving? <laughs> 
Thank you. We'll see you、bye. next week. Bye bye.